they'll be calling you a radical as TEPCO has raised the level to a three. I want to talk about how ridiculous that is. This is a whole new scale. I want to talk about the NRC. I want about the whole nuclear thesis in detail. First, I'm going to tag this. Now remember, this is Allison McFarland from the NRC, the nuclear rally cheerleaders who are supposed to be our protectors. The Doomsday Clock, because I've been working with them trying to get to Chicago because I want to do a piece at the Doomsday Clock. Now, I, this is, I just stumbled on this yesterday. I didn't know she did this. Remember, this is early 2012. Remember this in detail. San Onofre, as we worked so hard to get a shutdown, by the way, Gunderson almost blew that deal. And I'll say this to Kathy I want. I'll say this to Gene Stone, all you great activists, Patty Davis, all of you. I want to say this. To stick Arnie Gunderson out there on the point of press conferences delegitimizes all our hard work grotesquely, as he almost blew the whole deal legally. And I can get into detail. And you want to go detail with me on the nuclear thesis. Yeah, my YouTube videos are what they are, as I use the presentation because I know what it takes to grab the attention span of all you beer-drinking, two-legged mammals. Look, Allison McFarland stood right there and presented, and she goes on this ridiculous statement of her, oh, the nuclear thing we had to move because, oh, nuclear so bad. She knew, as the hen of the NRC, she knew that the song's cover-up was taking place. It's been proved, the documentation, we have it. Right there when she is standing there saying this. This is the corruption. That, now granted, I'm a fan of hers, I believe in her. She was thrown to the wolves with these monsters and that corrupt, 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 makes the SEC look like church mice. I understand that. But for her to stand there and move the doomsday clock closer, when she was part of the freak of problem at the exact same time. This is when I'm doing these videos from my Hoax, my, excuse me, hotel, yeah, I wish, the expensive hotel from the LDS Bone Marrow Transplant Center in critical condition. I'm doing reports out there fighting for my life. Level three, this is how we did The NRC themselves, this is public domain. We have, this was reported as a seven. Now, to you people that are coming in new to this, this is how these so-called nuclear agencies rate accidents from one to seven, which is ridiculous. We have twos, threes all over right here in Utah, as Utahns downwinter capital of the world. Fukushima broke the scale. I don't want to hear about what's going to happen, what could happen. The nuclear nightmare that we hypothesize as anti-nuclear advocates, for all of it for so many years, the only one that I give any credibility to in the old fight is Carol Gallagher. She stood up for my father and atomic veterans when she was a voice in the wilderness. But the rest of them, they can all kiss my ass. They didn't do shit. You're passive soft ways. Now my march in Washington Square and all you occupiers, come on. Come on, you guys in New York. Help organize this, put this together. I know you had to do it. It's simply a walk because we have to call attention. We, we cannot be, yeah, we could be peaceful, we could fit in, but we have to be freaking intense in what we want. You cannot take on these issues without being extremely educated about the issue. That was the problem. You can't take on social equality, the shirtwaist fires on that sacred sidewalk that we'll walk on with not understanding usury laws, with not understanding antitrust laws, with not understanding Alex Hamilton's thesis that founded, not understanding freaking tariffs. If you don't understand labor issues, how can you fight them, social inequalities? It's the same with nuclear. Look, fact, I want people to understand this. As cancer has rose in a direct correlation with nuclear fallout across the world. Direct, it is absolutely direct correlated. AML, when it attacks the cell processing system in your body, you don't just get cancer and then, oh, you suck. I'm going to the unit tomorrow for my test. It's been 77 days. I know that I'm at a very vulnerable time. It's going to be a big day for me. Anybody that wants to go, you go in there. I'll give you an education so fast it'll make your head spin off. You go in there and watch these beautiful, incredible, young 20-something-year-old females fighting their asses off. That's most pass that they fight, and I'll show you it in detail. You want to talk about literally on Balco? I'll show you physically and literally how catastrophic, overwhelming nuclear fallout is to the body and how fast it kills you. If you want to show up with me, you're more than welcome to go. Anyone can go with me. Look, the survival rates of cancer have went up over the last 20 years consecutively because of medicine, early diagnosis. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, people are willing to maim their bodies, cut their prostate out, cut their freaking breasts off. 
because of, to, to have nuclear freaking power, which we don't need, which is a freaking so grotesque. We produce so much more energy. Oh, where's the rolling blackouts in Japan? Hottest summer in the history of the Western United States on the grid. No blackouts. It's a lie. It's a fallacy. It's a lie. It's a cash cow. It is nothing but propaganda. As Chernobyl showed us the greatest cover-up in the history of mankind. Well, it's been Trump by Fukushima. And I want to say this to the marine biologists up and down California. We could prove this. We could, there was a marine biologist at Berkeley in their air and water monitoring thesis. He submitted to the NRC that he wanted to do this test. But the NRC, we have it. We have it. We have the smoking gun. As Henry Patrick, Patrick Henry, his work is a powerhouse. That document, you read through it. There'll be PhDs done over and over and over. We have the smoking guns. He went to the NRC and they told him point blank. And they, remember, the nuclear is on our side. They're supposed to protect us, which they don't. I call them nuclear rally cheerleaders. They sent him back in email. We have the emails. You do this, we will not only take all away your funding from Berkeley, we will destroy you. You'll be flipping with hamburgers at McDonald's. But let me tell you, oh, you marine biologists and you so-called Marine ecologists, what's wrong with flipping raggers of Hamburg? You'll have something that they don't have, that they can't take from me. And they'll never fucking take it from me. They took all my money, they took everything from me. But they'll never take what I have, and you don't fucking have. It's the only quality that counts. Integrity. Honor. The truth. Semper Fi. It's going to be the Marine or the Navy. One of those biologists down there is going to break ranks. They've had a gut pull because there are people in there with honor. And I'll say this about the Bradley Manning ruling. It gives us so much hope. Don't fall for the headline 35 years. Read what she said, the judge. He's going to get off the She spit back at the misguided men. As Martin Luther King's quote says it all, of guided missiles and misguided men. As, as Megan Rice's quote says it all, nuclearism, I gladly, we, her and Michael and Greg give their lives. We gladly give our lives to heal this planet. This is direct correlation. For Fukushima to come out and say, oh, it's a three on a scale one. With the scale system is a joke anyway. Fukushima is the greatest ecological disaster that ever happened in this country on Balco by many thousands of fucking times. As horrible as Chernobyl, and Chernobyl is an evil mass, mass murder. People can scoff at my numbers at 40 million. They're conservative. They can scoff. Now remember this, nuclear fallout in Utah, all you autism, I'm autistic. Nuclear fallout is directly correlated with autism. Nuclear fallout is directly correlated with multiple sclerosis. Nuclear fallout is directly correlated with birth defects. Nuclear fallout is directly correlated with asthma. Nuclear fallout is directly correlated with all cancers, especially AML. The cancer survival rate for the first time in 20 some years peaked and is going the other way. As my doctor says it, as so many doctors says it, she says it beautifully up in Seattle. These cancers are becoming more aggressive and more fast, and so the treatment doesn't work. We actually have a shortage of chemotherapy. There are people on waiting lists for care therapy right now because of Fukushima. Not only that, we rely on blood transfusions, massive, massive blood transfusions, massive blood shortages all over the country because there are so many people in freaking units right now trying to fight their ass off to say, and all you people say, oh, smoke a little bit of weed in these chronic, nuclear fallout, these type of cancers, AML, these leukemia, it's not chronic. These are evil heart, they, you can be perfectly healthy one day, mow you down dead so fast, make your head spin off. And if you don't believe me, come on with me. We'll go for a walk. I'll take you on a field trip to East Age, that incredible, incredible place. You want to see this literally? You want to see this physically? Come on, I'll put it in your face. Megan and Melissa went with me, both of them. So broke down crying when they left out of there. They saw Carla right as she was passing. God bless her. You know, Paul, God bless him. You know, Tracy, these people that I was in there with, I will never quit fighting for them. You know, my father's death did this to me, but now I've watched it multiple times. People in perfectly physical condition, so strong, mowed down in the prime of their lives and killed by nuclear fallout. This is so grotesque what the America, and CNN, you grotesque. I'm going to tag this, and I want you people, everybody to read it. I will tag this. This is CNN's Sanjay Gupta, MD, his show, on the two weeks after he was over there. He Remember, he was over there. He was over there. This is a neurosurgeon. This is what makes this so grotesque. They got a lot of nerve posting anything today. CNN is the evil of the evil. Oh, are they Uncle Tom. Oh, are they Uncle Tom. And I'll say this, I found out today that Joseph Biden's son has cancer. I love that kid. You know, fight on, young man. Fight on. Isn't it true that only the good die young? Doesn't it seem that way? 
None of these evil creep lying propagandists. Hmm. Maybe there's a lot to that. Martin Luther King spoke of that a lot. I think he made a lot of sense. Stay on tuning. One last thing. Get off the sidelines. And to you activists that are using fake names, fake it, use your real name because we find out, get in the field. Get on the playing field. What's that great quote by Teddy Roosevelt? No more on the sidelines. Get in the fields.